Hey guys, we're finally back to work. Um, coronavirus had us locked down in the British Virgin Islands for the last four weeks, so we haven't been allowed to leave our homes until today. Um, today is our first day back to work. So we're here on Tortola at the community college. Uh, we just finished setting up our tarps and our plastic um, to protect us from the elements, the rain, and we're installing a natural stone coating um, all of this week. So um, continue watching the rest of the video. We'll try to vlog as much as we can now that we're back to work. Um, and we're all very happy to be back to work. It's been a long four weeks um, locked down in our house. So stay tuned, keep watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're heading over to Buck Island today um, to do some work on the, the final rooms that we have over there with the white microtopping cement. Um, yesterday we were super lucky and we found a box that's been missing for about six months. The part B had four gallons um, inside one box and it was accidentally misplaced in a storage warehouse that we weren't even working in on this private island that we're working on. Uh, one of the contractors workers moved it by accident thinking it was theirs. Um, but I found it today. It's almost a $600 box. So I was super happy um, or found it yesterday. Sorry. And uh, today uh, we're just finishing up the sanding um, and reapplying another coat of cement. And then on Friday, we're going to go back and do um, one final sanding and start to seal it. Um, so we'll do a, a coat of sealer on Friday and a coat of sealer on Saturday. And then the final three rooms will be done. Um, it's been a long project. We've been on and off on this island for three years, um, different scopes and phases of the project. Um, but this recent um, phase of the project, it's been off and on for about six months. Uh, we haven't been over there every day, but um, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. Logistically, it's very complicated, but we're getting close to the end now. We're on the final uh, three or four rooms and uh, tomorrow we will be doing some epoxy, a final coat of epoxy in the water sports building where they keep all the water sports equipment. Um, so we'll do some more filming tomorrow. off six months and there's a box that went missing cost nearly five hundred dollars and I just decided to go down to the warehouse today and search around the warehouse um, which I've never been in the warehouse but somebody accidentally put it down here and look at this look at this made my day <laughs> it's been missing for almost six months and I just found it
Everybody, we're here at this private island that we've been working on for the last six months. Um, it should be our last day. We're just finally finalizing up the snag list. Um, just a few minor um, final touches on epoxy flooring, microtopping cement that we did, and some ceiling, um, some rooms that were scheduled a little bit later on in the project. So today should be our last day. Um, this project's been another long one, um, but we persisted and saw it through. Had a lot of challenges um, when we were installing the microtopping cement and doing the finish coat. We used some of the cistern water um, and it put brown spots all throughout the floor because the water was dirty. Um, we didn't notice it in the base coat, which was odd, um, but when we did the finish coat, um, it's a slightly different cement and the water um, was not clean so we had to sand off the entire finish coat do it over again um, and buy you know clean drinking water to mix in with the cement so um, that was one of the challenges obviously the other ones are logistics of getting to this island um, are complicated there's always delays and inefficiencies um, but you know we don't have our own boat yet so that's obviously in the long-term goals for the company but we haven't reached there yet um, so check out the video, keep watching um, if it's already started, if it's good, um, leave a comment below and, you know, thanks for watching. inspect two different jobs we got some inquiries um, on a different island so I'm heading over there this morning to go check them out one is an outdoor basketball court that needs resurfacing and they might do a recycled rubber coating and the other one is a previous client from us um, about five years ago it was in our first year of business and the issues have come up with the existing concrete slab that was poured by the contractor. He said there's some minor cracking and issues with the floor and he's looking at resurfacing um, the existing concrete slab. So um, I'm going to go over there, check and see what the issues are and, you know, potentially we might do a microtopping cement on that job.